So oftentimes people question why it is that they should grow, buy their uh, tomatoes from a local source or grow it themselves. Well, you know, when you go to a grocery store and you see that tomatoes are so much cheaper, the reason why that they're, they're so much cheaper is that they're coming from really long distances away. In fact, most tomatoes that are going to be coming here from a thousand plus miles away would be picked when a tomato is rock hard and green such as this. And then it's able to be shipped over a long distance where it's, it's not so easily bruised. And um, then right before it gets to our shelves, they spray it with an ethylene gas, which isn't toxic, but uh, what it does is it uh, accelerates the tomato turning into that coveted red color so it looks recognizable when it's on the shelf. But I want to point out a couple of things. One, it, when a tomato is getting its nutrients, it can only come from one place, when it's attached <laughs> by umbilical to the mother plant. Uh, so as soon as you pluck that off, you are no longer adding any more nutrition into that tomato. So a tomato that's picked now, like if I were to pick this tomato now, comparatively to say in two weeks when this is actually ripe and ready to be eaten, uh, can be uh, less than 1% comparatively. So there's that part of the equation. And then the other one is that uh, when you're picking, uh, choosing a variety of a tomato uh, to sell in a supermarket that's coming from you know that distance away, what you're gonna wanna do is pick ones that are easily harvestable and can ship over that distance easily. So you lose out on a ton of varieties of tomatoes that don't do as well. So for example, this is a brandy wine tomato, a much bigger tomato, it only gets pink. It's already pretty soft. Um, it can be susceptible to, to uh, some pests, but this, when it's harvested rock hard and green, well, no pest is really coveting this yet. So it's much easier to get tomatoes that have no nutrition in it and aren't coveted by the pests comparatively to these. But uh, by comparison, we have 30 different varieties of tomatoes being grown here that are far, have a whole range of different nutrients and health benefits to eating them. So if I'm only eating one tomato and that tomato came from a long distance away, you can guarantee that I'm not gonna get the nutrition that I, I'm looking for in that tomato. Oh, yeah.